We really took ourselves to be a renovation object, right? It's like something completely needs to be fixed and beautified and well it needs a lot of things to add and to to hammer and oh yeah so <coughs> it's really funny where you, you're sitting here with um, we both uh, the background of therapy so we were really good at that and and I was really good at fixing myself and others <laughs> privately and in my work oh my. so you can see where that all goes I mean it's a constant doing and I just thought when I was sitting here I thought well, wow we never managed to have just positive thoughts and positive feelings it just doesn't work and still the goal of, of um, well of in the life was to get positive thoughts just to feel better and it, it was equated with um, good thoughts and good emotions and good sensations but that that is a, is a never-ending project that's really the hamster wheel running because as we know all these unpredictable thoughts and emotions you think you have it in place that state of good thoughts and then then who knows what comes up I mean we could count now how many negative thoughts just popped up just during the last 10 minutes or just doing the last minutes and uh, it's amazing it's just unpredictable countless ceaseless data and they're all they're all just constantly appearing and resolving we can't even catch them and and to be introduced to open intelligence clarity <coughs> open intelligence <coughs> is extremely powerful I mean it, it's our greatest power and resource and that's and it's already there so we don't have to do anything so we don't have to buy it or get it at the information table <laughs> like it's just right here right here's vast like sky and um, and that's what the balance you training is offering is seeing oh wow open intelligence is our powerful identity it's already present and we are gaining confidence in that we're being introduced to it and then there's a powerful tool like the short moments you've heard about it and short moments of open intelligence and repeated many times just to be m reminded that open intelligence is right there and when you do that with the power of the four mainstays it becomes obvious you can't even make it not happen <laughs> <laughs> that's that's also the good news it just just by showing up that's all you need to do really even if short, you, because these questions of what is short moments and what is open intelligence I, I think we all thought that right like what is it all about and um, but just by showing up and hearing about it it's confirmed because it's so natural to us it's like it's so natural like having eyes or just having well, <laughs> hair maybe or not. I mean, women. Some, well, we need something very natural. <laughs> what does everybody have? I don't. Blood. <laughs> so, just very natural. Everybody is complete open intelligence, and um, and it is uh, such a relief that we don't have to work on ourselves to feel better because it's really an end, endless renovation project otherwise to try to get somewhere and I knew always that something was missing when, when just th therapy with myself and with others and I said oh, something's missing just something's missing and, 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 and I just stopped it because and when I was introduced to open intelligence I knew there is something there's something about it that is really powerful I didn't quite know what it was but I knew that I have to test that out you know you hear other people speak about it and you come back because you know it's in your experience that there's something that resonates with you and so you come back and see it. when other people can do it then you can do it too so that's what I thought and and then just coming back again and again and something is confirmed something extremely powerful about myself 
not needing to rearrange all my data streams, good ones, trying to get the good ones in and then the bad ones out because it just never happens. And seeing that then this key point of all data stream appearing inseparable from open intelligence, now don't think about that, but in a short moment and just by showing up you'll see that all these data streams that we tried so hard to get rid of that they are your power, that they're inseparable from open intelligence and you can just allow it to be as it is, you test that. Like you have a really extremely negative, like you're totally jealous or, or angry, like the button's pushed, from, like somebody pushed your button and then you're angry and irritated. You just, you, then you test the short moment. Just like that. You, you, maybe sometimes you don't remember a short moment and you get really just really involved in oh my God. the whole story and world opens up. But then next time you might remember a short moment. And then like that. And then you just and then it's gone. Or it's not gone, but it doesn't you, you just take another short <coughs> moment. And that's how we test short moments. That's how, how how you test short moments in your experience and see like that that you don't, you have that choice. You could ev either open up a whole world and of stories and go into it and why that other person and, and or why yourself. I mean, you, you could also just really have a whole story about yourself and then you, you relax completely. And that's extremely powerful. And that's, for me, that was it then with, I mean, I know that there's a, a, a temporary relief when in therapy and obviously everybody wants to be of benefit there but for, it was uh, completely mind-blowing <laughs> a discovery in all ways um, to see that there was nothing needing to be done about all my thoughts and emotions and experiences and to allow everything to be as it is I mean you that just blows your mind into wide open, vast intelligence where it's just nothing that you need to do about. You don't have to fix yourself. That saves some money too and <laughs> <laughs> hours of therapy. <laughs> and, um, and, it's, and it's extremely powerful but that's at first we were talking about self-benefit and then just imagine the power, the energy that you that you discover in a in recognizing open intelligence and potent benefit that lies in every human being. Everyone is completely capable and powerful to be of benefit and to see that in yourself, flower, strengths, gifts and talents you thought you never are able to do. But just see how, see how this center runs. I mean we're doing it all together. It's not one person. Everyone working together and has great strengths and talents. We're just eating the food, wow. I mean, you don't get any food like that. And then you have all people with all kinds of thoughts and emotions, but there's nothing going on, right? That's just, I mean, there's lots going on and then there's nothing going on. It's like sky and, 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 that, and, and the focus is benefit. And that's the ultimate teamwork and power because even if you feel distracted and lots is going on, you have the choice and take full responsibility. We're just not a victim anymore of our data streams and that we know where to go into open intelligence. And to normalize data streams is, is very powerful because we all have <coughs> these data streams like not wanting to live anymore. And when you have that kind of data stream there you take the choice too and you know thank you for putting it out here because it's really important to normalize all data streams we all know that we might have time had times in our lives where we thought exactly the same I know that too like no I don't want anymore it's too much I just don't want to suffer anymore and I mean it is powerful to experience deep suffering and knowing where to go open intelligence and feeling it deeply because you feel also everyone mm -hmm. and not to numb out because we try to just get rid of all these 
negative experiences and thought they are really scary, like, like just scary monsters. And, and to allow everything to be as it is, is just a radical shift and the strength and power and to deeply feel everyone. Because you can understand then everyone, like deeply. Mm -hmm. And then you see your strength and power and you can be an example. Because e like being lost in, in data streams and emotions and thoughts, it, it's, it's completely hopeless. And, and not knowing what to do and we can understand everyone. Also the people who don't want to live anymore and might even take that action. So it's powerful to, to step up and speak about what is possible as a human being and what choice we have and what we can do and we can demonstrate it and be an example. And that's what we can do when we are with people who might not choose to rely on open intelligence or they don't know about it. But your own example is the most powerful contribution to society and to your friends and to anyone, really to yourself but to anyone, just to step up in your power and to claim your power for the benefit of all. And it includes yourself, because yourself first see that, you don't, that, that you're not at the whim of data streams. You're just not the victim. And I ju just seeing that was for me, wow, I thought, for me suddenly a whole world of descriptions, like a whole analyzing world of <laughs> countless ideas of my past and childhood and, and, and everything is just was completely opened up into clear, vast, open space. And that doesn't mean that that things don't come up, you know, all kinds of things can come up, but they're more and more just outshone by open intelligence, gaining confidence in open intelligence in the four mainstays, are, that's the empowerment. They completely empower us to be the best we can ever think of. And, um, and step by step, if it's slow, fine. If it's quick, fine. It doesn't matter, really. And we don't even have to think in those terms. It, it's just whatever it is. And sometimes after years of gaining confidence in open intelligence, you might be so afflicted, you thought, I don't know even what open intelligence is. <laughs> so you can be prepared also. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> and then that's open intelligence too, like thinking, wow, what was it? Did I ever gain confidence in open? I don't know anymore what it is. <laughs> so, and then you just relax there, really. And the four mainstays are always there, lifelong, and that's amazing. It's like a lifestyle. I mean, I can't think my way anymore out of, out of it. But I just don't know anymore, really. And um, like you can't at all ignore open intelligence. Once you hear about it and you, you decide it's not for you, then um, yeah, you can count on it. It will just still work. And you, it's, just, it's just unavoidable. It's like more and more. And then, but when you use the Four Mainstays, that's quite a power, really. And um, it's confirmed again and again. You see how just coming here, it's like we don't even have to speak, I think. <laughs> it's really powerful. We just have to see each other and think, wow, yeah, that's the choice I'll take. And, um, and then when people come together at the grassroots, like coming together, binding together in that power, I mean, it's just, there we can see what is possible for a world. When you see the war on yourself, completely stop because everything as it is is powerful benefit and you see what is possible in, in the world. Also the center is a great example of people from all kinds of backgrounds and cultures and belief systems and unifying in the great power of open intelligence and benefit just shows what is possible there too just in this kind of how the center works here. <coughs> so this, this power, is, is we, we can't underestimate it really. And we can just test it in our experience so we don't have to believe anything. It's like really, like a scientist, you test 
and you experience the sharp moments and the four mainstays. And that's great. You can test it and see how, how powerful you are. And anyone can do it. Like anyone. Even if they're labeled manic depressive. Everyone has that ground. We do, you know, we don't take any extremes like saying there's no professional support needed. So we don't say that. Definitely, as you also, when you, when you join teachings, we, trainings, we have a disclaimer there. Just that it doesn't re replace professional support. And um, so that's important too, to know. But then still everyone can gain confidence. Everyone can tap into their power. But it is, doesn't, doesn't necessarily replace. And we have some people who went into psychiatric um, settings and just read together texts. It was extremely powerful. Or prisons. Mm -hmm. And just reading, coming together in that unity. It's so soothing and so powerful and uniting and connecting that all these labels and focus on the differences just opens completely up. And everyone notices something. So you see there's just the way the training can be adapted to different groups for, for whatever is needed. And spoken also in a way that just touches everyone right there. Mm. Yeah. So... Wow, yeah. It's... No, the, the words are missing because, I mean, it's just... Um, to know that choice, I'm, I'm extremely grateful because always I felt something was missing and... And just having a life of complete ease where, like you just said, nothing bothers anymore. Like bother in a way like you just don't have any buttons anymore, they just fall off. Like the pushing of buttons, like you, okay, no buttons anymore. <laughs> and even if it feels like there are buttons, <laughs> there's no button. <laughs> like that <laughs> and then so it's great yeah like like even if you feel completely worked up you don't have to think that you're failing that uh, open intelligence failure is not possible so th so that's the good news too like step by step we see our power and we see that nothing needs to change it's a complete self-love you suddenly like yourself, and then you love yourself, and others too. <laughs> it's a, it, and, 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 you know, like love, you know, might sound a bit cheesy and pink. <laughs> but it's not like that. It's like just, like just being touched with everyone, by everyone. Just thinking everyone is really just a, a perfect and beautiful being, just as they are. Even if things are raging, you just don't notice anymore that things are raging. Otherwise, maybe we wouldn't come up here. If you, if you like, think, oh, talking in front of 100 people and we don't, you know, let it just all do whatever it does, <laughs> you see. Or, so then you'd never limit yourself with anything. We have to speak up. We have to speak up and step up for our power and be an example. Because the world, it just can't go that way anymore, right? I mean, we just have to step up and see what is possible. And we have to show that in ourselves. It, it doesn't make sense anymore to be wrapped up in, in, in data streams. Like, it's, it, it's, it's very time consuming. And so you, you have such a, a freedom for yourself too. You don't have to go to certain places to feel good anymore. You can, but but you don't have to. So that that's great too. Then, yeah, it's just a good life. And then your question, that's also a great question, with the past and present, trying to get into the now. <laughs> so that's, that's also too much work to try to get into the now. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and you saw it actually already when you were speaking. Somehow you were already seeing that, and uh, because you can you can wide open intelligence here and now, past past memories, whatever it is, it's right here and now. It's completely wide open. And what you'll see, your choice to indulge all the memories, and, oh, it was such a bad history in my childhood and my parents, they were so mean. And da, da, da. So that whole story, I mean, at one point, it just, you take short moments and outshining all, you see like it runs out and then you think, oh, why should I go that way? Take responsibility for all the data streams. That's extremely powerful. Suddenly the past, but it's not about not thinking about the past or the future. Probably everybody thought already what's now for brunch. <laughs> I did it at least. And, so <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and, and so, so you just um, completely open up that idea of you have to stay in the now and just think now thoughts. And um, so it's, it's very relieving, normalizing all your data streams. And, and here and now is always here now. You can't get out of it, really. And, um, but we don't say it so, so much, but we, we do say it. Open intelligence, just as it is. Whatever it is, it's the here and now. And that, that's really powerful.